wrote San Francisco, New Orleans last weekend. Mm. Um, that's the first time that Sean Payton and Drew Brees have put up 40 points and gotten beat. Um, how impressed were you by that game and, and more specifically San Francisco? Um, I, first of all, that's a great stat, man. I did not even know that. Um, 40 points with a loss. How about this, Ro? I mean, In Saints franchise history, they've scored 40 points 16 times. 14 of those have been in the Bree in the Breeze Peyton era, and on Sunday was the first time they got beat. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Heck of a stat right there. Um, look, I, I got to be honest with you. I thought it was so many Tuesday moments by Kyle Shanahan and Jimmy Garoppolo. Like when when the 49ers ran the fullback option play that that the yeah broke yeah. Out, like yeah against Chicago. Ago, yeah, they, yeah, it was like. Whoa, all right? And I, I thought Kyle Shanahan did a great job of really mixing up the play calling, really confusing the Saints defensively and testing their eye, their eye discipline and their mental toughness in that uh, in that dome right there. And, you know, just doing a lot of, you know, trick plays and really just – that's what you got to do those things. And I really give Kyle Shanahan and that, that 49ers offense a lot of credit. I knew going into it, I, I did an interview with some guys out of San Francisco, and, I, and they were shocked when I said, hey, look, the 49ers are going to have to score 30-plus points to have a chance to win this game. They're, this is not going to be a low-scoring game. They're going to have to go out there and prove it. And Jimmy Garoppolo and that offense, they did that. I, I think the Saints are going to look back and talk that they had chances defensively. I think they tried to nullify the run game, which is great. But they gave up way, way too many explosive pass plays. And you cannot afford to do that when you have the home field against a really good team that you're not going to be able to just continue to just score on as you want to. I thought the I thought the Saints did a great job of putting up points and really trying to nullify their pass, their pass rush by getting the ball out quick. And they did what they wanted offensively. But, you know, defensively, the Saints have to do better. And uh, they'll look back on it and thought, say, you know, hey, we have to be better if we're going to have a chance to win the playoffs. Yeah, uh, Ro, real quick, tell the people out there, what is a Tuesday moment? A Tuesday moment? I thought that's what you said. Is that not what you said at the beginning of that answer? I thought you said a lot of Tuesday moments. I thought that was like oh, a no, no. shout out to like the oh, no. film film review or something. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. I, I guess I meant just uh, looking back on it. Oh, okay, Tuesday okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, never I was mind. Like, what is the Tuesday most Tuesdays, man? I'm, well, I'm I completely made it up in my head. I was like, well, yeah, that's yeah. the day they review film, and it just he just means that he's highlighting the guys. That's an who, NFL term. Have, yeah, that's a good. That's an NFL term. Tell the people what it means. All right. Well, uh, moving on. Uh, Marcus Williams at the end of the game. Sean Payne's actually come out and. Talk specifically, not about Williams, but about the safety play. I, I guess, what did you see out of Williams? But specifically on that last play with Kittle, it, like, is that face mask inexcusable there? Well, it, look, he has to do what he has to do to try and get the guy down. He's trying to survive. At the end of the day, you got to go up there, take the guy's legs out, and get him down. I mean, he got an extra 25, 30 yards or, off of a safety, and your job is to make plays on the ball, line everybody up, and the most important is tackling. You have to get them down. Not only that, but Bon Bell. That's why he brings a, a safety play as a whole. Bon Bell, all right, they get uh, Emmanuel Sanders runs the sting route. Great setup by the play. Marcus Williams is there. Marcus Williams falls down. Bon Bell, you get back over there. You're trying to strip the ball out. Don't compound a mistake by getting beat in coverage by another deadly mistake, which is getting the guy down. you got to get him down. Yeah. Give your defense a chance to line up and maybe hold these guys to a field goal. These are the things that we're talking about. These are such vital plays that you don't get to get back in this game. Every play is the game-winning play, and you don't know which one it is that's going to be the, the difference maker. That gives your, chance, your team a chance to hold it down to three points or a four-point swing. You look up, you know, that the, you lose by three points. So every play is so crucial, and that is what Sean's referring to when he says the safeties, the tackling, no, not only that, but 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 Gardner Johnson, who's the third safety, he's the one that got beat in the coverage. Yeah. So everybody had their hand in it. So you you got to do those things. Not only that, but the 49ers did a great job of realizing the Saints were not switching or playing different things. They were locking in bunch routes with the three man bunch groups together, and they just ran a man beater. And and so you give them credit when credit is due by getting the best playmaker to fall. But at the end of the day, the Saints you have to get the guy on the ground. That is your job nullifying the, the yards after catch and make these guys continue to move the ball down the field and try and get it into the score. So more devastating than losing the top spot in the NFC and home field advantage in the playoffs was losing Marcus Davenport and Sheldon Rankins to the IR oh, yeah. on Sunday. Can, can they overcome that? Ugh. 
I, it's going to be really hard. I, look, this defense has played great, and they've been really good because they haven't had the blitz, and they've been able to create pressure up front. Not only that, but stopping the run. So now teams are having to pick the ball up. You're losing more and more D-line, where you already were not great at getting a lot of pass rush outside of Cam Jordan himself. So it's just lack of depth. Now you're going deeper and deeper into the pool, but now you might have to sign guys off the street. It's just really hard to continue to do that. And, look, we all understand injuries do happen in the NFL, but over- overcoming injuries is another thing that most teams cannot always do or, you know, or just kind of find a way. Look, 